Well, the kids are so excited because they finally get to have an outdoor play date tomorrow. And so I wanted to share with you some of our favorite quick and easy snacks because, I mean, we're talking two or three ingredients and only a few minutes to put together, but they still look really fun and special for the kids. And so we're gonna share those with you today. Some of them are even healthy too. Well, hi, I'm Dawn from The Minimal Mom. We love sharing tips and tricks to help you simplify your house quickly. And so normally we're talking about like physical possessions like the stuff in your house, but I like simplifying stuff in the kitchen too. So I'm really excited to share these super easy, but really fun looking snack ideas with you. And so we're going to get started with a favorite in our house. It is sweet and salty. It's almond bark popcorn and it literally comes together in like seconds. We'll need one cube of almond bark and one package of microwave popcorn. Okay. So we're going to make the package of popcorn first. And then how long do we put the almond bark in for? Uh, one minute. Perfect. Okay, so here's what it looks like when it comes out of the microwave. There might be just a little bit of solid pieces, but those will melt if you stir it up a little bit. Now we're gonna dump the popcorn into the bowl. And now we are going to dump in the almond bark. And mix well. So you just want to mix it in until it's all evenly distributed. It usually takes like a minute or two. And because the popcorn is still a little bit warm, it usually blends in really easily. And then if you really want to make it fun, add sprinkles. Okay, I don't want to do too much. All right, so up next, we're going to make one of Maggie's favorites, which are our donut hole skewers. We also put fruit on them too, right? So they're a little bit healthy. Okay. <laughs> And luckily we have some fresh strawberries from our garden. So you wanna grab a package of donut holes, some strawberries, and then either color of grapes, and then just some skewers to put them on. If you wanna be really fancy, you can get sprinkled donut holes. Those are especially fun. Kids are great at assembling these two. And I prefer the red grapes, but um, we have green grapes too, and those are kind of fun too. So Maggie's making some sprinkled ones right now. Oh, I think oh. that's not quite the pattern. <laughs> it's like being back in school, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so the easiest fruit dip on earth is when you just mix marshmallow cream and a block of cream cheese. So that's good just by itself with apples or pretzels, but we thought we'd also show you some fun variations on it too. All right, Anna has never made this before, so she is excited to mix it all together. You can use a mixer or you can just mix it by hand. So it's just a one-to-one -one mixture of marshmallow cream and cream cheese. We let the cream cheese sit out for a little bit to soften, so should mix pretty easily. Yeah. And of course you have to taste test it to make sure it tastes good. And I can't remember having this, so I'm curious what you think. Mm. It's really good, right? Yeah, it tastes like... <laughs> Just like when you bite at the door. I know, super <laughs> easy, but we can make it even better yet. So this is our base. Now we can also add in crushed up Oreos or some creamy peanut butter if you wanna make it, you know, a little bit healthier, right? <laughs> but my favorite version is if instead of using plain cream cheese, you actually use strawberry cream cheese and that tastes really good too. So. We're gonna mix up these different versions as well. So I'm teaching Adeline the trick to make any simple food look fancy. You just put it in nice serving dishes, right? Yeah. <laughs> she was like, this looks fancy. <laughs> All right, so we have the peanut butter, the Oreo, and now Adeline's gonna put the strawberry one in. Which one's your favorite, Adeline? Uh, the strawberry one. Oh, really? The peanut butter was very good though too, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And of course you wouldn't have to do three if one is plenty, but We've got three right now. <laughs> Here's kind of a fun tip. If you wanna cut off your fruit or your apple slices ahead of time, but you don't like the taste of lemon juice on it or your kids don't like the taste, you can actually put them in salt water in the fridge to store them until you're ready to serve. So fill up your container with water, put in about a teaspoon of salt, stir it around, throw your apple slices in, and they will be perfectly preserved until it's party time. And I love these veggie dip cups. It's only two ingredients. I mean, I guess if you count each veggie separate, then it's a few more ingredients. But you literally just get some veggies, put some ranch dip or whatever kind of veggie dip in the bottom of the cup, stick the veggies in. But everybody, whenever I bring these or make these, everybody loves them because they're so easy to grab and the dip's already in the bottom. Like it works really well. So we bring these to any kind of get together and I always get a lot of compliments on them. All right, guys, you have been waiting for this. Yes. What are we making? Dirt cups. 
All right, so it's very simple. These are so easy because you just buy the pre-made pudding cups and then let the kids put on their own toppings. So we have a bowl of Crush Chef Oreos and a bowl of worms, and that's like literally, that's all you need. <laughs> oh, you're worm. gonna bury your worm in there, Corbin? Good. <laughs> I'm gonna be All right, putting the Oreos on top, oh yeah. All right, so trying to get back to some of the healthier <laughs> recipes again. These three ingredient peanut butter oatmeal bars are very easy and very kid friendly as well. And so they're literally just three ingredients. You have your oats, you have some peanut butter, and you can use honey or maple syrup. We've used both before. But you literally just warm up the maple syrup and the peanut butter in a saucepan or in the microwave, mix in the oats, and I have my pan ready here. I sprayed it. It's supposed to be an eight by eight. This is a seven by 11, so a little bit bigger, but we've made them in there plenty of times and it is just fine. So I'm just gonna finish pushing these into the pan and then if you want them to set up quickly, you can throw them in the freezer. Otherwise, you can just let them cool down on their own. And of course, sprinkles add instant party. And also a fun tip is to put them in cupcake wrappers to serve. It's really easy for the kids to grab them and it makes them look a little more special too. And of course, no snack video would be complete without sharing our chocolate chip cookie bars. Only four ingredients, no measuring, you only dirty one bowl. I mean, they're so quick and easy. And seriously, if you bring these to like a get together, a potluck, a party, everyone will be asking you for the recipe. <laughs> and you're just like, they're, they're really, they're seriously, they're so easy. <laughs> I also made a printable with all of these ideas and recipes. I mean, <laughs> you can hardly call some of them recipes, but I know how sometimes when you're like, see a good idea, but then you forget about it. It's kind of nice to just have them all together in one place, or you could even let your kids use it to pick the menu for their next get together. So I'll put a link down below where you can print that off. All right, well, we have a party to finish getting ready for, but thank you so much for watching. I'd love to know what are your favorite easy treats that you like to serve for play dates or other get togethers? Have you tried any of these? And also if you're looking for a cake that will make you look like a baking rock star, I'll link to my button cakes down below. They are so easy, but they always look kind of special and fancy and they taste incredible. So I'll put those down below as well. But a thumbs up is always the best compliment that you can give us. If you want more help simplifying your house, we would love to spend more time with you. So go ahead and subscribe, but we'll definitely look forward to visiting with you again soon.